So guys, I am back with another Power World video and literally guys, about 10 minutes ago, uh, Power World on Twitter dropped the early access load map and today we get into it all people. Future content, let's go. Now before we go any further, if you get to play or own Power World, I'm giving away a couple of copies. To be in with a chance of winning one, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on, and I will announce a winner in a couple of days. Good luck, everybody. Okay, so literally about 10, 15 minutes ago over on Twitter, the official Power World Twitter account tweeted out the early access roadmap which showcases and talks about new content coming very soon indeed so let's check this out so the roadmap you can see on screen now early access roadmap for power world addressing critical issues so this is currently guys currently numerous bugs have been identified and we are prioritizing fixing those sometimes the world date may experience rollbacks the loading screen may persist when trying to load into worlds and so on. I'm not going to lie. I said this on my video yesterday. I mean, playing on PC via Steam, I've had barely any issues. I'm playing in my own world. I can understand the online servers, multiplayer servers can be a little bit glitchy considering there's so many people that are actually playing this game now. I think it sold like 7 million copies on Steam alone people on steam alone not including xbox and game pass and people playing over there on steam alone seven million people have bought this game so i can imagine the servers are a little bit crammed but what i would just say is just be patient because obviously they're working on fixing it and making it a little more stable for players that are having trouble okay so improvements to implement asap key configuration improvements improvements to base pal ai and pathing yeah, but this I do get the the base powers can be a little bit buggy. I'm not gonna lie. So many times, mine just stand there doing absolutely nothing. It also happens a lot. So I'm hearing for people who have separate bases. Let's say, for instance, they have a base set up to farm or for metal uh, in a different location to their main base and when they go there guys everyone's just standing still all the powers are just standing still and actually don't start working until they get there again i haven't really experienced this problem i mean i've seen a few uh, instances where i've gone to my second or third base and the powers are like uh slacking but most of the time they are hard at work but yeah i've seen plenty of people say that their powers won't actually start working until they're in the vicinity of said area which to me kind of makes the point of separate bases a little bit irrelevant in regards to farming things and having your very own workforce so yeah hopefully this is something they work on and fix a sap okay so planned future updates pvp now, PvP is absolutely massive, and I mean, I'm not sure how they're going to incorporate it into this game. Will there be online PvP servers where you can just simply go up and attack people off the bat for absolutely no reason, like we see in Ark? I mean, possibly. I mean, this makes sense, and I'm pretty sure many people, including myself, would enjoy this. I mean, the island's pretty big. Uh, servers, I know they did say before release that they plan on introducing bigger servers for instance more players playing in each server i think now it's like 30 players i think they plan on doubling this but uh 60 players even on this massive open world is still enough in my opinion especially when you have guilds and clans and tribes and things like that so yeah i do look forward to seeing and hearing more about this pvp in arc for me especially is one of the main reasons i played it and I think with Power World, it's just going to add a little bit more spice to it, which is what we all like. Okay, so raid bosses. End game content. Raid bosses, people. Raid bosses. What is this? That sounds amazing. But when I think of raids, I think of games like destiny i know yes you get raided in this game your base will be raided but how does it make sense of there being raid bosses end game content um i don't know you let me know down below in that comment section i'm thinking maybe there's going to be dungeons put out there somewhere and so forth i mean there's dungeons now in the game obviously but maybe harder dungeons uh but to be honest raid in my opinion 
and specifically using that word definitely seems to me like we may see a whole different setup in regards to fighting and encounters within this game but we will see guys we will see but raid bosses end game content does sound cool to me okay so pal arena pvp for pals like what is this going to be like a battle arena so this is actually how i was thinking pvp would have worked maybe there'd be a battle arena somewhere where players meet up and fight pvp uh they throw their powers out and their powers just go at it one on one and that's what i'll imagine this is so it is a completely different setup from standard PvP, which is pretty cool. I would imagine as well, the Palerina PvP for Pals might be added prior to PvP servers, if that is a thing. I mean, a Palerina sounds absolutely amazing where players meet up in the same server uh, because obviously now it's PvE, it's not PvP. And you can battle it out, pal v pal. Sounds cool to me. And it puts a whole new insight in actually breeding and making your pals better and stronger in my opinion so yeah that's pretty cool uh palerina i really look forward to okay so steam and xbox cross play again prior to release uh they did talk about cross play and that it was definitely going to be a thing so i'm actually glad to see that this is still a thing i mean cross play for this may bring along with it a few bugs may bring along with it a few glitches and dodgy encounters but i think they can get it to work I mean, the game, to be frank with you, has released in overall a pretty decent state. And considering the amount of players playing the game, I still think servers are semi stable and doing a better job than many of us ever would have thought if I would have said to you, within the first week, there's going to be seven, eight, nine million people playing this game. So, yeah, everyone would have thought straight away servers are going to crash, implode, not even explode, they're going to implode. But, yeah. I think the crossplay between Steam and Xbox, they'll hold out until servers are running perfect. Okay, so moving on, various Xbox feature improvements. Now, I don't know what this means. What features of PC got that Xbox don't already have? Is there things missing? I don't know. I mean, I actually plan to play this on Xbox, but because I got early access on PC and I set up my base and did all this good stuff on PC, I just stuck over here. Uh, but yeah, I've got plenty of pals that play this on Xbox. So yeah, I'm actually excited and interested to see what this is server transfers and migrations now this is absolutely massive let's say you want to transfer yourself off your one server onto a different server if that's what this is and you can take all your powers with you that's unbelievable that's an amazing feature but we will see guys i mean i don't want to speculate on this because people are going to get hyped that's for sure so we will just wait and see on this one improvements to the building system again i understand this building in this game can be a little fiddly i'm not gonna lie and actually trying to place certain items like stairs in the right direction and place walls snap them to other things can be a little bit of a pain in the ass so i'm definitely glad they're seeing improvements being added to the building system and lastly guys they state new islands pals bosses and tech neat like what what people already they're talking about new islands powers bosses and technologies this is what i like to see i really do now if you have actually traveled around the map uh, you'll come to a barrier beyond that barrier there's a whole new area like a big tree where it seems as though actually people have glitched over to it but it seems as though this is definitely planned for future content that's for sure in regards to powers there are actually two powers that were showcased prior to release i can't remember the names off the top of my head which ain't in the power decks at the minute so yeah probably they're the two they're speaking about probably they're the new powers they're speaking about or maybe they're just gonna add way more that's cool to know too buses we all love buses pretty cool and then technologies pretty cool guys we all all of the technologies in this game so let's see what they add in the future i got a few ideas i don't really want to spout out because you're probably going to say you're ridiculous epj but either or guys the future road map for power world has been dropped and it's pretty cool in my opinion but there we have it guys let me know your thoughts down below uh, are you excited i know i am for sure guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one